everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm back with a brand new video and it has been highly requested so I thought I would finally do it and I am doing a throwback here I'm bringing back goodbye or goodbye I don't know why I stopped doing the series anyway it was really fun and I think you guys liked it as well so it is back so I regularly will be reviewing products and letting you know if it's a goodbye or goodbye um so Today's video is going to be about the hyped up e.l.f. hydrating bubble mask. So if you guys want to find out if this is a goodbye or goodbye, then please stay tuned. And also, if you are not subscribing, then hit the button down below. That's going to help you stay up to date with my channel and also hit the little button down below so you can get notifications so you will actually know that I posted a video. So to jump right in, this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Bubble Mask. So for those who don't know, e.l.f. has branched into skincare. Um, for the longest time, they were just doing makeup, but they did try skincare. And I'm actually a novice at their skincare. This is the only skincare product that I've tried. So I can't really base it along their other skincare products. They actually don't have the skincare in Canada. I can't even speak. Skincare in Canada skin care in Canada. So when I made uh, order to e.l.f. in my most recent e.l.f. haul, um, I'll link that up below, I ordered this. So I have heard so many YouTubers raving about it and so many Instagrammers and I've seen that bubble masks have been around a long time in Asia. So I was really excited to try it because people were like, oh my god, it's so like amazing. I love it. So of course I had to try it. Um, so this was actually $14. I did get a discount in shipping and a free gift, but um, it's kind of like mid-range. It's not that expensive for skincare, but it is kind of expensive for e.l.f. Um, so it is, it comes in this box and it says no parabens, no sulfates, and no phala, phala, bleh, I can't even speak. Um, so it says this hydrating and nourishing gel transforms into a bubble mask on the face. Watch as bubbles fizz and foam to, to remove excess dirt and cleanse pores for glowing healthy skin. So that's what it claims to do. And so when you open it up, this is what it looks like. Um, so I do like the packaging. I think it is really classy how they just have like this kind of um, glass look. Um, I'm not crazy about the packaging and this is why. So how you get your mask out is that you just push down on these. Um, I find it very awkward because when I first used it, I was like, okay, there's a lot of product and sometimes like product will stick and I just don't find it really that sanitary. Um, not to mention like if you're pressing down, it's just annoying. Like and I've read reviews too, I haven't used that much of mine, but a lot of people were saying like they'd have half a mask left, but because this pump couldn't get it anymore that they thought it was done, but then they opened it up and there was so much product left. So I really think that they could improve the packaging. I would really just rather it be like a squeeze tube and then I put it on my face instead of this. I find it a really inconvenience. And also too, like the person said, some products left. Um, so that's what you do. So you just wet your face and then you put a thin layer over slightly damp skin and bubbles will form. Um, and it says bubbles begin to dissipate five to 10 minutes, massage with fingertips, wash with warm water to remove and then moisturize. So I've only used this at night. I've never used it in the day. Um, I'm not crazy about this mask. I actually don't understand all the hype. When I put it on my face, I feel like I have bugs like all over my face. Like I'm scratching, like I want to scratch my face so bad. I don't because I don't want like scratch marks, but oh my goodness, it is so itchy and I can't figure out why. I've never reacted to a mask like that where I just want to like, the funny thing is, is that it doesn't break my skin out. It doesn't make it red. It just makes it super, super itchy. Um, it does feel really hydrating after I use it, but it doesn't make my skin look amazing or anything different than like when I exfoliate it or when I do something else. So I actually was not crazy about this and I can barely last five minutes with this mask because I actually want to rip my face off because it's so itchy. Like it's actually 
crazy. Like, have you guys tried this? Or is it making your face itch a lot? Maybe because it's um, like the toxins and the dirt, but I don't know. It's really weird too because you don't really see how much dirt is coming out of your pores because you're just removing it and it's a bunch of bubbles. Um, something else I find kind of weird too is like I will put this so my face will be evenly wet and then I'll put it on my face, but only certain areas will have the bubbles form. The other areas don't. So I find like it will just be like a random like patch here, a patch here, a patch here, maybe a patch here, but then like the other other areas won't have any bubbles. So it's really strange because everything is evenly wetted and I put the same amount on. Um, so I'm actually not crazy about this bubble face mask. I feel like I might be alone with this, but I really don't understand the hype. Um, I'm gonna continue to try to use it as long as I can because I don't like wasting products and it's not irritating my skin, it just annoys my skin. Um, but yeah, I really wasn't crazy about this product. It actually would be a good buy for me. I will not be repurchasing it when it's done because it just bothers my skin too much. Like it's just, it just annoys my skin. I shouldn't say bother, but it just annoys my skin so much. You can find this at the e.l.f. website and I do believe they have it at Walmart as well. So yeah, it is simply a good buy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found my perspective of the e.l.f. Hydrating Bubble Mask a little bit different. So I thank you so much for your love and support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I thank you so much. Have a great day.